In recent years, Taiwan has made significant progress in the development of defense technology, with one of the most representative projects being the ADF Fighter Program. The ADF Fighter Program is a next-generation main fighter jet development project initiated by the Taiwanese government to enhance its air defense capabilities, aiming to develop a fighter jet with fifth-generation capabilities. The ADF Raven focuses primarily on enhancing air combat performance. It incorporates a new type of laser weapon in the nose unit, which provides firepower several times stronger than traditional missiles. It is capable of taking down the Chinese with a single shot. I apologize, but this ADF is not a Taiwanese ADF. It's an extraordinary combatant in air warfare, so please don't get confused. Roger that. Returning to the main topic, the ADF Fighter Program was officially launched in 2020, led by the headquarters of the Taiwanese Air Force, with the Taiwan Institute of Science and Technology taking on the role of the primary research unit. In the initial stages of the program, the Taiwan Institute of Science and Technology will be responsible for tasks such as conceptual design, technical research, and prototype production. In the future, the Taiwanese government will gradually adjust the program based on the progress of research and actual needs. The development of the ADF and the South Korean KF-21 fighter jet, while both of strategic importance, have the following differences in terms of objectives, technology, and progress. Firstly, in terms of objectives, the ADF fighter program aims to develop a fighter jet with true fifth-generation capabilities. Whereas the KF-21 fighter jet is considered to have performance equivalent to a fourth-and-a-half generation aircraft. The ADF fighter excels in areas such as stealth, supersonic cruising, advanced avionics, and a powerful weapons system, whereas the KF-21 fighter jet has stronger advantages in maneuverability and survivability. Next, in terms of technology, Taiwan's ADF fighter program will incorporate a wide range of advanced technologies, including stealth design, supersonic cruising, active electronically scanned array radar, electro-optical detection systems, and advanced data links. During an interview with the Liberty Times, Han Xiang's general manager Ma Wanjun specifically alluded to the YF-23 experimental aircraft developed during the competition for the fifth-generation fighter jet contract alongside the American F-22. Finally, regarding the progress, Taiwan's ADF fighter program was officially launched in 2020, with the first flight projected for 2028 and full-scale production expected to be completed by 2035. However, the KF-21 fighter jet was officially initiated in 2015 and is set to reach full-scale production by 2028. We can now already witness the KF-21. Its appearance is similar to the American F-22 stealth fighter, featuring twin engines and a dual vertical tail configuration. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 25.6 tons, a maximum payload capacity of 7.7 .7 tons, a maximum flight speed of 1.8 Mach, and a cruising range of 2,900 kilometers. The KF-21 fighter jet is equipped with six weapon attachment points under the main wings and uses the General Electric authorized F-414 engines. Due to the United States only permitting the export of engine technology, the KF-21 must be equipped with South Korea's independently developed onboard electronically scanned array radar. Additionally, it can carry European short-range air-to-air missiles as well as MBDA's Meteor beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles. Furthermore, another objective of Taiwan's ADF Advanced Defense Fighter Development Program is to advocate for the United States to sell F-35 stealth fighter jets to Taiwan. In the 1980s, Taiwan developed its domestically produced indigenous defense fighter, IDF, known as the Chinkwa, with 55% of its components being locally manufactured in Taiwan. In recent years, the self-production rate of the Brave Eagle advanced trainer aircraft has also reached 55%.
In the past, the United States initially refused Taiwan's request to purchase F-16A fighter jets, only agreeing to the sale after Taiwan successfully developed the IDF fighter jet independently. Therefore, media outlets including the British Aviation Week believe that Taiwan's aim in developing the advanced defense fighter is to use it as leverage to persuade the United States to sell F-35 jets to Taiwan. The Biden administration in the United States had initially planned to terminate the sale of F-16V jets to Taiwan in 2022 and considered redirecting them to Ukraine, but ultimately abandoned this idea due to legal challenges being too substantial. There are also rumors indicating that Taiwan hopes to exchange these F-16 versus for F-35 jets, the advantages that F-35s would bring to Taiwan's defense operations in the Taiwan Strait with the United States. Its situational awareness capabilities and electronic warfare capabilities would significantly enhance the defense efficiency of the Taiwanese military, further reducing the likelihood of the hypothetical adversary gaining air superiority. This advanced fifth-generation fighter has been incorporated into scenarios in both Han Guang exercises and Tianjin scenarios. Taiwan itself has a strategic depth deficiency. According to assessment from the U.S., in the event of conflict in the Taiwan Strait, it's foreseeable that Taiwan's numerous military facilities would come under attack. Therefore, the vertical takeoff and landing capability of the F-35B is a crucial factor in Taiwan's ability to preserve its combat power. Additionally, its stealth capabilities are sufficient to counterbalance the advantages of the People's Liberation Army. Despite the high cost of the F-35B, when paired with existing fourth-generation fighters, it can serve as a complementary platform. This allows the F-35 itself to act as a connective hub, maximizing its capabilities in intelligence gathering, surveillance, and guided weaponry. Currently, the Taiwan Institute of Science and Technology has completed the conceptual design work for the ADF fighter. Based on the known concepts, the Military Affairs Trends team has created a 3D model of Taiwan's ADF. The estimated cost for the research and development of this fighter is at least 400 billion new Taiwan dollars. From engine technology to stealth coatings, overcoming these challenges is crucial for Taiwan's next generation fighter. Although the Brave Eagle trainer aircraft, which entered service at the end of 2021, brought new hope, its performance still falls short of the requirements of a modern combat aircraft in today's battlefield. The Republic of China Air Force currently relies primarily on 140 F-16s, 54 Mirage aircraft, and 129 Indigenous Defense Fighters IDFs. However, due to a lack of support from France for the Mirage jets, both in terms of spare parts and upgrades, they are in a state of stagnation. The IDF, which has been in service for over 30 years, was a capable lightweight fourth-generation fighter in its time. However, in the current era where countries worldwide, including South Korea, possess fifth-generation jets, its capabilities are deemed insufficient. If, in the future, both the Mirage and the IDF are retired and the U.S. does not sell F-35s, the Taiwanese Air Force will face a significant capability gap that needs to be addressed. Therefore, the Advanced Defense Fighter, ADF, program in Taiwan is preparing to complete the first phase of engine development in 2024. Taiwan's options for purchasing engines are very limited. They must meet the standards of fifth-generation aircraft, and the engine thrust cannot be too small. South Korea chose the General Electric F-414 for its KF-21, and since the ADF is designed to be a quasi-fifth-generation aircraft, the F-414 is also the preferred choice. However, Taiwan has also prepared an alternative plan, which is to develop its own engines. When Taiwan was developing the Indigenous Defense Fighter, IDF, and later the Brave Eagle, Aerospace Industrial Development Corporation, AIDC, collaborated with several American engine companies to develop the F-125 engine. This project was also known as the Weaver Star Program. However, in the early years, Taiwan's technology was not mature enough, so the Weaver Star engine was a joint effort, with Taiwan handling the lower-tech cold-forged components. 
Additionally, the high temperature combustion and turbine combination segment, which has a very high manufacturing threshold, was completed by foreign partners. At the inception of the ADF fighter development, Taiwan also restarted the second phase of the Weaver Star program. According to high level sources, an estimated budget of nearly tens of billions of new Taiwan dollars has been allocated for the Weaver Star engine, with a five year activation plan. In the future, the ADF fighter will likely be equipped with Taiwan's domestically produced fighter engine. The success of the ADF fighter program will have a significant impact on Taiwan's aerial defense capabilities. The ADF fighter service will provide the Taiwanese Air Force with a fifth-generation performance fighter, thereby enhancing Taiwan's aerial defense capabilities to counter military threats from China. Furthermore, the success of the ADF fighter program will also have a positive impact on the development of Taiwan's defense technology industry. The development of the ADF fighter requires a large amount of advanced technology and equipment, which will promote the growth of Taiwan's defense technology industry and enhance Taiwan's independent defense capabilities. This concludes our program for this episode. Feel free to leave comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.